Hello everyone and welcome here on my channel Cheerful Dev. I hope you are doing good, I hope you are doing well and I hope you are having a beautiful week. If not, remember guys, it will always get better. And before I start with this video, I want to say thank you so much for supporting this channel and you are the base for my channel and you are the best community here. Thank you so much for supporting me and I appreciate, really, really appreciate your support guys. And of course, we play the game uh, League of Legends, me and my friend Darkode. If you didn't see this episode, go and watch it because in this channel here, we don't just create games or tutorials uh, game, we also play games because I'm a game developer and I'm a gamer and I, I like anime and I, I like a lot of stuff. So in this channel, I will be doing really, really a lot of funny stuff and of course, tutorials showing you guys how you can create games. So let's get started with this video. In the previous one, we created an animation, a frame per frame in Photoshop and imported it to uh, Unity. In the second video, we created an animation inside Unity using the animation tool. So in this video today, we are going to see how we can create a PSD file, something just like this. Uh, as you can see, I have every part of my character as a new layer, right? So we have every part of my character in a separated layer. And we are going to see how we can import a PSD format and use it in Unity without any trouble. So let's say you have a character. Okay, so you have your character, uh, you save it as a PSD, you just click and drag it inside your asset uh, folder and you will have a PSD format in Unity. Now to read this format, what you need to do is to go to the window here, click the package manager and you need to install two stuff. The first one is to install the 2D PSD importer package. This one will help you really, really so much to import anything as a PSD format. The second one is we need it to the animation. Once you've uh, imported those two in your project, you can use them however that you want. And you will see your character appearing just like this as it's uh, just a sprite. And now once you've done that, we need to go to the inspector area here. So select your character and go to the inspector area and you need to watch uh, some stuff here. We need to change the sprite mode to multiple because we are using a lot of layer in our uh, character. You need to change the pixel per unit to see however it fits in your project. Of course, you need to check this character rig because we are going to be rigging our character and you click this apply button. Once you've done that, you click the sprite editor and it will show you something that looks like this. In your case, if you are using a different character, it will be different for you, of course. But uh, uh, the sprite editor will detect every layer from your character and make it uh, looks like this. So he's uh, showing you that I detected every layer and I'm showing you every layer you have in your character in a different way. It doesn't matter what matter is to check if every uh, box is the right stuff that you need it to be so once it's done and everything is right you click on this sprite editor here and you change it to the skinning editor once you've done that i will click revert because i did already apply this stuff so uh, in your case you may not have this error so here i have my character and this is a preview pose so this is a preview position for my character and here we have three main stuff we have the bones area, we have the geometry and we have the weights. We need to add bones and we need to add a geometry and we need to adjust the weight. So in this tutorial here guys, I will not create an amazing creation, but what I'm going to do is just to show you those tools and how they work. So to create a bone, of course, all you have to do is click on this create bone and this way we can create a bone really easily guys. So let me just zoom in like this. And as you can see here i have the face so if i click on my neck here i can just add a bone just like this so i have one in this area and if i click here or here it will keep going uh, like this so it means that this uh, red bone here is the parent for every bone i created after this so let me command z to undo my movement so you make sure the first bone you create 
is in the position that you want it to be so in my case i will create one in this area here this means that i have this one as the parent for the next bones i'm creating so i will make one for the neck here and one for the uh, the head in this area and once you are done creating the bones you want all you have to do is a right click and you are out of the bone creation to make a new bone of course it's really easy guys all you have to do is to click and drag like this but here we have a problem this bone here is separated from the body uh, this may be good or may be bad for you so let's say if you want your uh, let me do command z here so i can show you the, what i what i mean if you want your uh, bones have affect your chest uh, bone you need to make them in a relation right so if you select this bone here you will notice that we have this uh, bluish bone here this means that the next bone we create will be also related to this bone so if we move this one he will be affecting the other bone related to it so if i click here and i click here again and here and here so this bone here they are uh, related to this one so let me click this preview pose to show you what i mean so now if i move this one you can clearly see that i'm moving all of the bone that are in relation to this one right and if i move this one of course i can move it as i want and this one move these two because they are in a relation to it and this one is a relation to this one and this one got nothing right so you get the idea that's really really cool guys and as you can see any bone that you move is going to be affecting the other one let me reset the position so this preview position will give you just a preview to your bones uh, uh, animation and when you click the reset position it will reset everything where they was so to continue creating bones you click this create bone again and you continue just creating the bones that you want so let me select this one again here and uh, this one I, I want and let me just uh, so I'm selecting this one in this one and I will create uh, a relation in this area so something just like this and i want to keep doing this so this one should start from this point here and will continue this area here or something just like this and here i created this animation really really easy guys so i will keep it just like this because as i said before this tutorial is is not to make a full animation but to show you how the bones work now if you want to edit a bone you click on this edit and you just click the bone that you want to edit and you can move it wherever that you want change its position if you did a bad position before you can adjust it however you say it fit let's say this one is not here i want to make it here it depends on your character and how you say it fit and if you select this split bone it will give you the power to split a bone uh, into two or more uh, places so let's say i uh, here i want my leg to <laughs> to be able to stretch in this particular position all you have to do is to just click and now we have two separated bones and you may notice why unity giving a specific color to every bone we will see in the next uh, minute why we do this so let me just command z now you've seen how you can create bone how you can edit them and how you can split them now let's go to the geometry so if you click this auto geometry you will notice it will show me this one here so we have some outline detail some alpha tolerance some subdivide some weight and stuff like this now here you can adjust it however you see it fit so let me cl click this generate for all visible to see how it works so once we've done that you will see that photoshop uh, <laughs> i mean unity generated this geometry for every bone so as you can see the green one is affecting this area the uh, yellow one affecting just this area which is the neck the red one of course affecting this area and every bone basically have a geometry around it and he's affecting this specific area in our character so if we click on this preview position here you will notice that now we can move those 
however we see the fit and as you can see of course everything related to this bone here it means that we can rotate our character however we want and if we move the leg as you can see we can easily move them however we want so as you can see now any part of our character is being affected by something now you may say this is really bad and it is because we are not doing something crazy here we are just uh, learning how we can generate this geometry and how we can add them to our character now you did understand how this uh, geometry work of course you can modify it however you say it let's say i will uncheck this weight and i will click uh, generate again it does mean that now we have something like this so if i go here you can see that we just have this skeleton and it's not related to anything why because we uncheck this weight button now why you may need to uncheck this one right because here we have this auto weight if you click this one you can create uh, create and associate bonds to every area so let me just click the generate all and now you can see that we have another uh, association between the bones and the geometry we had before so <clears throat> if I click now in this area you can see that we can again play with our character however that we want now once you've done you are not going to create your animation here you click this apply button so you apply everything you did to your character let's give it a, a moment here because the character is really huge once unity is done uh, compiling this now we can just drag and drop our character in our uh, scene here and now i will select my character here and if you open this one here now we have our character sarah and we have this skeleton bony here if you go to the animation now you can click on create animation and basically now you have the right to animate your character however that you want using those bone here <laughs> that looks really weird for now but uh, it doesn't matter because we are doing this just for the sake of this tutorial you can create any animation that you want really really easy guys and uh, do whatever that you want that's it guys i will not create a, a full animation because we already seen how to use the animation window all you have to do is to click create you select your character sarah here you click create it will give you um, a place to save your animation and you just create the animation however you want using those bound and here you are good to go <laughs> so i hope this video was uh, uh, helpful for you guys i know that's too much to get in one video uh, in the tutorial series we are going to be making uh, soon guys how to make a 2d game from the uh, from scratch and make a full game export it and put it in itch.io so other can play your game uh, we are going to talk about everything and we are going to explain them in a boring way so you are going to learn everything that you want guys so hopefully this video was uh, was good for you guys if not um, so i'm so sorry guys uh, we will we will do some uh, better videos in the future i'm uh, really busy with the university right now but i'm trying to make my best here to create videos for you guys so if you are new here uh, hit the subscribe button if you did like this video if not uh, dislike <laughs> it's okay guys because what i'm doing is for you guys and i'm doing this for fun and i hope you will appreciate it and i really appreciate your support thank you so much and see you guys in the next video see you soon